What's up, this is AC News here, so sorry for not uploading for a while, I've been busy. And it's no shade November, so as well, so you can't shade the body, the beard, face. So I've been having to work most of the time. I work like five, six days, or seven days straight, or eight days straight, at times. And we were not Walmart had to call me in early at the start there when I was actually there at like 7 a.m. in the morning and I clocked in like you know an hour before or wherever else and you know it's it's busy it's Christmas is coming up next month and I know I try not to do this or anything like that but you know it's how my eyes are they're really sensitive to skin as well so forgive me of that you know because this is something I can't help and I do have bad skin basically I can't wear any kind of metal and most of my skin is dry and it's got eczema and that's exactly what I think I'm feeling right now it's I used to be able to treat it until the doctor's up prescribing the meds and you can see you can find it on Amazon or so but I do have some but I don't you know I'm so busy at the <coughs> Most of the time I work eight days straight or something like that, and I have to, you know, this is how it is. The skin will do things like that, trying to get me to touch somewhere or whatever else, you know, but, you know, this is how it is. The skin's been always like this, and I've been having to, the house is almost livable. It's pretty much there right now. We haven't put in this late. We've been putting insulation. I think we're done finally. I have to do chores. I'm supposed to do the dishes, but I'm giving you a video right now. So, you know, discounts coming up. I'm working this given 7 a.m. to like 3, so I'm going to be well away from the cell, like three hours or so, because it starts at 6 p.m. on the 22nd. So, yeah, we always have to work Thanksgiving. And this year you had to work before and after, and I'm working Black Friday as well, so. But the nice thing is, after Black like Friday, I get to stay off Saturday. That's Saturday. But I had to come back Sunday and work, so. Technically, I'm off today, and I had to work over the weekend. Most of the time, they've been scheduling me, like, midway up, and I have no other car pressures. And by the time I'm trying to record something or something, you know, the phone dies. The phone doesn't last. There's no Wi-Fi over there. I'm on cell data. And plus, you only have like 60 minutes. And you know, the rain's not always, the weather's not always the best. It rains. It doesn't do it for a while. And it starts pouring for an entire day or more. Walmart and these cards, they, they made me go 20 minutes. 40 minutes into my lunch and then go back to work about 10 minutes, you know, before, before the 60 minutes was up. They've been known to do that for me. In order to get cards caught, I guess they don't want to deal with it. And a lot of the times now, I think it's like lately, it's like last weekend I was the only one working all that time. It seems like you know, after 3 o'clock, 3.30, they didn't have car pressure. And it's like, this is how it is for Walmart. They, they scattered one guy. That's probably one of those sound markers out like. I'll just let it ring. Because we get all these scam phone calls to mark her. Can you just stop? Good. It's done. Because that's like six, eight times a day or more. My phone gets it every now and then. They'll call, 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 call. Most of the time, they're using your area code. And this wasn't even planned to be in the video, by the way. They just call constantly. They'll, they ain't supposed to call after 9 p.m. Right now, they can call, period. Since it's the correct time. It's past 8 or so, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's almost 10. 
no call again within the next 30 minutes or less. Sometimes a couple in a 20 or 10 minute span. They'll constantly call. Call, call, call. And I'm not dealing with it. I'm not having a phone line. Because this is what you get most of the time. It's from that phone, that phone, and that phone. It's all connected to the same thing. To one click or was it frontier or whatever it is. The rest of it see new wave. Internet here. Cable new wave as well. And most of the time when I've been hearing so many of these things, I think I'm hearing phones ringing when they're technically not. That's how bad it is. For these calls, these spam calls. You're asking, oh, how about Angie? They're not here during the day. I'm here because I'm off. That's it. And they just decided, well, we're going to call regardless, okay? I got one thing for them. Hang up the phone for you guys to uh, don't answer. I ain't even getting a phone line. I'm getting something to kind of filter all of this bad calls. It's really annoying. If you're trying to do something, that phone call you didn't want. You pick it up. Oh, some kind of research or whatever. Hang the thing up because it's not worth it. I'm thinking of all these and I listen like, oh my god, this is a scam. This is actually a scam through a telemarketer. You know, you it's illegal here through the United States and you can actually sue them for doing this. I think there's like a, it's online somewhere. It's like how to deal with telemarketers or something like that. I might put the link in the video if I can find it. I'm sure I can find it pretty quick. I'm used to hearing it all the time. But you can make some serious money off that, trust me. You have to have a local courthouse, of course, and you know, write down the answers and ask them and make sure they don't lie. If they lie, that's going to cost them money to you. Yeah. It's like $500 a question. If they answer it incorrectly, they're fine that much. A lot of people make a lot of money off that in the United States. It's legal law. For a while since Obama has been in office. So yeah, it's completely legal to the United States. So any income marketer scam system it's call center, you better watch out. I tell you. There's even YouTubers who are actually taking care of these people pretty good. I I enjoy them as well. <laughs> They do all kinds of bad things, trust me. They hack them, they... The Dawson, which is illegal, by the way, to the United States. It's illegal. You can't do that to any kind of corporation or anyone. It's a crime. You, you're facing serious deals. I don't know if I, I forgot how much it is, but it's not worth it, trust me. So, yeah, they actually get these call centers. A lot of them are so not smart that they actually leave their IP. Like, uh-oh, that's all it takes find out where they are because that goes directly to the internet source where they're directly connected through their phone or their tablet or their computer or a network router that's all it takes to find it and a lot of these youtubers they catch a line in the in the act red-handed and i don't want to take a chance because you don't want to take a chance when they run that bad code and what lately they've been doing is their their lawnmower Microsoft Tech Support scammers. Guess what? I have a Mac. <laughs> Get off. So in there, you're from Microsoft they claim, but it's completely false. A lot of them they execute and they put a password in, and you can never boot up again. Because guess what? They know and you don't. And they make a lot of money off that too. So I technically, when I hear something like that, I on my phone one time too. I was like, uh, I got a Mac computer. It's Mac OS on it. I don't have a Windows computer. They didn't even bring the latest Windows things up as well. They're really fake. As you know, that's just how they are to bring people in. They're just lies. That's all it is, basically. A lot of them are in India and different countries, so it's not 
technically illegal there, but for us it is. So yeah, people, they've been shut down a lot lately. A lot of those videos on there are funny. Really funny. If you know you're from the press like I am. I have a long history of medical issues and depression is one of them for sure. I'm on 150 milligrams, but you know I'm doing better. You know I'm on. I had brain damage when I was young, so I had like a liver disease. I still have it. Always will have bleeding disease. If you're born with hemophilia A, which is an X chromosome mutation that's found on X chromosome, but it's factor eight, so my liver doesn't make factor eight protein enough, so I bleed internally. That means even though these teeth can be fixed with cavities after the reason to were removed in June, I still can't have it done because like, I have mess to do it. And the cheapest alternative was a nasal spray. They were release something similar in the in my liver that would be like factor eight, but it would cover up the mild to moderate. Since the other side of the family were severe, there's always a higher chance I could bleed more than a moderate. I did have times where I had to go to the ER and get factor injected and that's the only chance right now I can have I have that's the only way my body will tolerate it. My body got so bad lately that I has to get sick within the first twenty four hours of the dose. I had cramps the first 10, 20 minutes for like twenty four hours. Throwing up started like probably really early in the morning the next day. Instead of the second or third day in the treatment that is required for Stymate to work. It's a DDP thing. It's the same thing. All those cheaper ones are the same component, and guess what? My body doesn't like it. So, yeah. I would have chills. I feel tired. Heart racing. Numb hands was the latest side effect. That was scary. And, you know, it was better for me to leave work early than, you know, have something worse happen. So, I mean, I've been on the medicine for like a decade or more. It's non pain medicine, it's nasal, but you know, since the body doesn't like it, it's IV treatments, it seems like now. And that's real expensive, by the way, so not for the cheap at work at Walmart, I'm afraid. But we sell over six thousand eight dollars so create that provides the medicine treatments for me. Including the nurses that get took care of me when I was to have the teeth worked on afterwards. The reason I needed to remove it for like a week or two or a month or so. I have a contract with them and some of them went on spires, but the insurance covered none of it. All my insurance before they changed to a credo, I mean to a Aetna, it was a lot better. I think United Healthcare covered like 80% or 75% of the cost. I only owed like 1400 dollars when it was only three shots and this one I had like four days straight and then like another five or so including the hospital's version on top of that. It's, it's gonna be a big deal. I got all I still was like a hundred thousand dollars or more. I'm very lucky because I could have lost everything I ever had because of the debt of that one surgery that one night staying over and having the surgery and having all the medicine they gave me. In order to actually keep me alive, it was over around hundred thousand. I asked all yeah, it's a hundred thousand dollars. And you're lucky your YouTube, your YouTubers here, because you know I'm special for a reason. And miracles do occur, and they, I think they had the like a lot of the debt off what I could afford. And I think my um, pocket mass sums like six thousand. Sorry for that. I can't. They don't. They cover the rest of over that. So, yeah, it's how worse insurance works and I was only there overnight I have I can't imagine how much it was. I didn't see the bill but I'm sure it was really bad. And you know they had to get me on IV treatment for anxiety and things like that. And yeah, and your cell's not too good. But I up the insurance and cost me another sixty dollars a month. I mean a paycheck because I ain't changed some things. So yeah, I got better insurance now. Let's get let's start January first. I think I have I have a low deductible. I think I have like seventeen hundred instead of like six thousand dollars. That until you know it starts paying bills, 
this I think it comes with 500 bucks that you know paid a, like a good bill for the first doctor visit but after that it kind of limits until you had that deductible cap and they start paying that's how it works and since I had the factor and then I actually hit both those at the same time on that one day so I've been paying nothing for SMS and QVAR, um, social lane, that's a uh, antidepressant, no cost, because I made it deductible since June. Yeah. Since there were generics at the store, I didn't see one in tech. But Flovan, I would say, but if I had it, I would have paid nothing, by the way. I mean, it sort of was nothing. It was the brain mess and keep you focusing correctly. And your medicine, no cost, all free, by the way. You know, like I say, that's how insurance that's how insurance should work. Technically, I mean it would cost you less, but beforehand it was pretty expensive. I think I spent over hundred bucks on inhalers a month. I think it was like one of those and then like two backups, like a little over hundred and twenty dollars a month. And a lot of those they don't have generics anymore for those controllers. It's like that's what costs so much, basically. I'm trying to speak lower because my voice is dry. My throat's dry. My throat dries pretty really quickly with the mask that I'm on as well. So, forgive me for that. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like below. See how lucky I was. Because I, I, I'm blessed, okay? I may not have everything the world like everyone else has, okay? It's just a thing. But, you know, it helps. Thanks for watching.